dancing around with my rainbow colors. Dance. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's craft is all about colors, learning colors, color recognition, and it's a whole lot of fun. Um, this craft's got two different parts. The first part, we'll be playing some color games. In the second part, we will be making this super cute hedgehog or porcupine. Um, and we're going to bring the colors into the second part of the craft as well. Now, for the first part of the craft, we will be teaching a color or two or three. You'll know on what level your child is and how many colors they know or how many colors you want to teach them. So I work with three colors. So what you need is colored paper. Because we're doing three, um, I've got three different colors of paper. If you are teaching one color only, then you'll have one color paper. So I've got red, green, and yellow. And then with this, I had these colored sticks. These are just the tiny lolly sticks or lollipop sticks, popsicle sticks. That I painted green, red, and yellow. I've got two of each color. And then I got some of my son's toys that is you know, solid red and solid yellow and solid green. Now, what you do is you basically want them to match their toys and their little sticks to the paper. Uh, what you can do is you can take your paper and stick it on the wall, your three colors, and have a little basket underneath. And they can put everything in the corresponding basket. Or if you've got stickers or nice little pictures, you can cut out um, hearts and shapes from a magazine. Or um, if you're using paint, they can paint the red on the red and stick the red stickers on the red and the green and so forth. You can also make a whole morning of it and go and get rocks um, and twigs and paint them. You know, the color you're teaching them and then match it to the corresponding um, paper that you've got. So that is fun. I'm going to, I did it with my son, so I'm going to put that part of the video in this tutorial so you can see kind of what we did. So we need these for the second part of the craft as well. So if you don't have these little sticks, like I said, get some nice twigs and paint them or use colored pencils, but you need see, you need something that you can use as quills on your porcupine. Now, my little porcupine looks a bit worse for wear. We made this porcupine a couple of days ago, and my son has been playing with it every day. So it's been through the ringer a bit, but he enjoys this so much. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. First off, you need, uh, this is a milk carton. You need a milk carton, a juice carton, um, any empty box that you've got lying around the house. Um, the point is to recycle something. Don't go and buy a box. Um, anything about this size, a little smaller but will work, but not too small because you need to make a little phase and you need space to put in the quills. So nothing really smaller than this. Um, next, you need a piece of paper. I'm using plain A4 paper. You can use um, newspaper, wrapping paper, um, you know, scraps of paper, anything that you've got lying around the house. We basically just want to disguise the box, you know, make it look pretty for them. So you're going to use your box and your paper and obviously glue stick, any glue you've got around the house, your empty cutter, your sticks, and then anything you've got to decorate with. Um, I've got paint, my pen tempera paint blocks that we're going to use, and then stickers and cookies as well for decoration. So first off, we need to disguise the box and at least look, make it look a little prettier. So I'm going to take my A4 paper. A4 works perfectly on the box that I've got here. If you've got a similar box, so A4 works. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the whole page in glue all over the whole 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 page and glue and we are literally just going to stick this on the box and cover as much of the box as possible right. take your box and you stick it on all around It's 
like wrapping a gift. I don't know about you, but I love wrapping gifts. Yeah. So you've got these overlapping sides. So I'm just going to slip the corners and flatten them. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, honestly, the little ones aren't too bothered if it's not perfect. Just get some more glue on the edges. Press it down. I've got the lid of my box, the or lid, not the lid, the little cap. I've got it on still because um, I find if I take it off, then my little one puts all these sticks inside and that is a mission to get out if you want to use them again so I've got the lid on um, once we're done with, done with the box I will take my little caps and I will save them because I do hoard caps I have to admit um, I've become a bit of a hoarder since I started crafting you can use anything for crafts so I want my caps back Whitey. okay so there's our little box. Now we're going to make the space for our quills. So I've got six quills. So I'm going to make six holes in my box. But first, what you do is, um, let me get my cookie. Oops. Okay. Um, you put your hand like this on the one part of your box now this part is for your face so this part is for your quills so all you do is that is the little face I'm gonna make space where the quills go like so see so that is where my little face will be and that is where our little sticks are gonna go in then I'm gonna use my just the empty cutter or if you've got an old knife and I'm just going to cut into oops, into these markings to make holes so this is all the prep that you need to do beforehand um, I prefer to do the prep beforehand and not with my toddler because obviously once he sees this he wants it um, and he can't have it so I try to do the prep beforehand and I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just gonna open up the holes a bit because we don't want to make it too difficult for them open up the holes like so and then take your little twig or stick or ice cream stick or lollipop stick or whatever you've got your pencil whatever and just see that it goes in easily Gonna look something like this and now we're getting to the best part obviously is decorating so what I did first is I sat my boy down and I gave him three colors of cokey pens obviously green red and yellow because that's the colors we're working with so I let him draw all over his little hedgehog um, with the cokey pens that he wanted and once he got bored which is Two minutes flat um, I gave him paint and I just I let him go to town with the paint and obviously most of the porcupine ended up black as you can see right so let them color in you can use crayons paint uh, oh we've got some stickers on here stickers I love stickers stickers is such a lovely craft for fine motor skills my boy still struggles a little bit so I help him but um, I can already see the difference in his little hands from trying to put down the stickers. He gets, he got two down on this one and it's, well, I think it's a huge improvement. So I love stickers. Stickers is such a lovely um, exercise as well as a decoration. I mean, stickers are amazing. Um, so you can decorate your little hedgehog however. Now I made a little nose for um, my hedgehog with a square of brown cardboard 
and a sticker and then I put on two googly eyes for eyes. You can use colored paper, you can draw on eyes. If your child is able, they can draw their own eyes and their own little nose. Um, what also looks really cute if you've got cupcake liners, white cupcake liners, you stick them on with a sticker in the middle and you've got these big eyes that is really, really cute. And now all you do is, once they're bored with decorating, um, is you take your little sticks. Um, and what I did is, I don't give them all the sticks because then it's, they get, it gets a bit overwhelmed and it's too much color and too much choice. So I'll give him um, one stick and I'll ask him if he knows what color it is. Um, sometimes he gets it right, sometimes he doesn't. And then I'll show him where to put it and he will stick it in. And then we'll do a yellow one and oops, a yellow one <laughs> and a green one. We'll start again. We'll do green, red and yellow and we'll stick them in. And ta-da! You got your little hedgehog or porcupine. Um, and then take them out. I'll ask them, oh, where is a red one? And you will hopefully take out a red one. And then where is a green one? And you will take out a green one. And then once they're all out, then we start again and we put them back in. Um, and it really, it keeps them busy for a while. And I've left the porcupine or hedgehog standing on the table for a while. So every now and again, he'll go back to it and then just play with it again. And then whenever I see him playing, I'll ask him, show me a red one. And then he'll, you know, he'll show him a red one. And he loves high fives. And we're doing a fist bump now, like a fist bump thing. So every time he gets the color right, we do a high five or a fist bump just to reinforce that, um, you know, you're right and you're so clever. Um, and he loves it. So I think this is a lovely craft to help them recognize colors. Um, another thing, if your child is a bit older, um, you can name your hedgehog. Then obviously you've got a little hedgehog pet. I mean, look at that little face. How cute is that? And you can give him a name. And you can also research some cool um, hedgehog or porcupine, whatever you decide on, facts on the internet and teach them, you know, bring in some biology, biology, sorry, and teach them about the sleeping habits and eating habits and where they live and, and all that. If your child's a bit older and they would be interested in learning more about hedgehogs or porcupines. Well, if you've got time, um, drop me a mail and send me some photos. You're welcome to post them on our Facebook page as well. And I've got an occupational therapist write-up of this craft, you know, what we did and what, why we did it and the skills we worked on. Please feel free to drop me a mail and I will gladly send it on to you. And please subscribe to my channel for some more fun, awesome, entertaining, educational videos. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. I am dancing around with my rainbow colors dancing around and around i am dancing around with my rainbow colors dancing around and around i can reach up high and twirl them around and twirl them slowly to the ground i am dancing around with my rainbow colors dancing around and around i am jumping up and down with my rainbow colors jumping jumping up and down i am jumping up and down with my rainbow colors jumping jumping up and down I can reach up high and twirl them around Then twirl them slowly to the ground I am jumping up and down with my rainbow colors Jumping, jumping up and down I am swaying back and forth with my rainbow colors Making a rainbow in the sky I am swaying back and forth with my rainbow colors Making a rainbow in the sky I can reach up high and twirl them around Then twirl them 
so 